hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today's gist is on ido phillips aka mama rainbow yes yeah, she's one of the veteran actresses in the nollywood industry who over several decades she has graced our screens well she made this revelation in an interview with daily trust and of course it sparked a lot of reaction as much as some people thought oh it's only normal for people to go through hard times and trying times some people are skeptical about such information well in my opinion i feel some information shouldn't be let out to the public why some people might misquote you some people might get you wrong and some people might eventually use it against you well what is this that mama rainbow revealed about herself that got people talking on the internet well it was shared by one of the bloggers where mama rainbow revealed that one of her sons actually took her to an herbalist and advised her to become a witch why because at that time things were hard and she was at the peak of her career but she was extremely extremely broke she said and revealed that they would pray and fast and do also but nothing at all then one of her son told her that well let me take you to where you can become a witch where you become a witch you become rich and on getting to the herbalist they laid down the requirement for her to become a witch and get rich at the same time but then one of the requirements is that mama rainbow has to sacrifice her favorite son then she responded to the said herbalist that her favorite son is the same son that brought her here to become a witch on hearing the demands and requirements her son instantly told her it's time to go home now the question is what if Yarimbo had mentioned that another son who is not the one that took her to the shrine was her favorite would this her son insist that she go ahead with the sacrifice or he will still insist that their mother go home and use none of his siblings well this and so many of the angles were all debated on social media some people also were tired to question after laying all this uh, demands and requirement and you couldn't and decided that you were not going to do it they just allow you go for free and nothing happened to you this and few other questions are asked in the comment section as well guys in your opinion do you think mama rainbow did well by revealing this side of her or it wasn't necessary well yeah rainbow is one woman who so many times i've shared a story on how she lost her husband at a very early age marimbo said she was so devastated that she told them to bury her five children with her husband because she couldn't just bear it she couldn't take it she didn't enjoy her marriage and her husband was the love of her life during this ordeal of how her son took her to the herbalist she said in her words and i quote it was tough after prayers some of them would always cry whenever one of my sons saw me with a bible he would ask what i was doing with it at a point he said he would take me to where i could become a witch and i agreed he said that once i become a witch we would be okay i agreed and he took me somewhere but before god and man when i got there and they told me the requirements i was shocked they said it was the child i loved the most that would be used for sacrifice i told the person that it was the child i loved the most that brought me to this place at that point my son held my hand and said it was time to go home this was Ia rainbow revealing this now considering the position being held in a church as a mother and as the high priest in church is it necessary to reveal this well yarimbo as mentioned earlier shares a story on how things were not rosy and how she wore rags to raise her five children but today she's one of the most influential and sought after women and veterans in the nollywood industry and all of her children are doing excellently well in fact some are also in the nollywood industry and speaking of doing well for themselves one of yarimbo's sons built a house for her in fact he had explained that she was the one helping to supervise as her son is not here in nigeria but she was the one in charge of the house from buying the land down to construction down to finishing and down to roofing painting everything and to her greatest surprise she received this as a gift from her son 
she revealed this in an interview that she was surprised she was shocked she made a lot of sacrifice to raise our children in our words she said i was popularly known as yao shumari then not yarimbo and in fact it was written in newspaper then that i was the cheapest actress i wouldn't have been able to successfully raise my five children if i didn't take up all sorts of acting roles even in the church i dare not buy clothes and jewelry when everyone else is buying for the festive season the best i could do was to buy those things for my kids while i put on rags because there was no money and there was no one i could meet for help I also did not want to get married to another husband, even though it wasn't an easy thing to do. I am, however, grateful that it ended in praise. I am grateful to God because he sustained me, kept me and my children since my husband died in 1984. And today, in my lifetime, my child built me a house and one is also planning to buy me a car. But I explained in Nani Tavi with the punch also that she is very happy and grateful. In our words, she said, I am happy because for someone to be abroad and come home to build a house, he deserves to be praised and appreciated. I was the one who helped him to purchase the land but he didn't tell me what he wanted to do with it he only told me he wanted to buy land and i should help him inspect it which i did and negotiated the price i was also the one he sent the money to and he started the building gradually when it was time for the roofing i was the one he asked to help buy the materials to use and i did that it was when the house was completed that he said to me mommy you are the one i built this house for it was so pleasing to me that i wept tears of joy when their father died there was no one who could help me i was left with all the children it was taxing but i'm grateful to god because my child my child built me a house this was yarimbo revealing this also yarimbo everyone as old as she is at an older age lost one of her daughters and it was quite a painful one for her in fact years after losing her daughter while she was on set and she was asked to play certain emotional role she started crying naturally and everyone on set wondered why mama rimbo was crying but then she thought and remembered her late daughter daughter whose name is dola was rushed to the hospital and she was said to have died from suspected complication from ulcer illness she was said to be planning to leave for the united states for the unfortunate incident yarimbo who is a great mother and one who is loved by many in the industry celebrated her ETF birthday recently and she is praying to God that she lives up to 120 years so she could fulfill the works of God which has been put into her hands and ministry well guys back to the gist of protest today which is Yarimbo revealing that her son took her to an herbalist to become a witch for them to get rich well guys what's your opinion on this let's hear it in the comment section do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye